Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video about a vastly underrated necro skill in D2R, and this skill being Bone Wall. I often see Bone Wall be overshadowed by its similar counterpart, Bone Person. And both are great skills, but I personally find myself casting and maxing Bone Wall first over Bone Prison. Uh, let's go over why. Bone Wall is an incredible skill because it does what Bone Prison does but without needing a target to cast it on. And this advantage is clear when we talk about the aggro radius that Bone Wall has to it. For some reason, it attracts monsters from very far away. It has like this taunt ability to it. And this can be very helpful for grouping all sorts of enemies. And the Necro loves grouped enemies, of course, because of those juicy corpse explosions. So enemies with fixed locations such as Eldritch, or even grouping up a pack of enemies while you kill a different pack can be something that Bonewall does very well. By the way, I just want to appreciate the effort behind that Bone Spirit. Okay, sorry about that silly meme. Um, on another note, Bonewall can actually sort of funnel enemies into a line, which is perfect. As you can see here, the Fallen are sort of getting into this nice single file line, two single file lines kind of, um, and they're just slapping the wall and you can just bone spear them to death, it's beautiful. Also, quick side note, if an enemy bleeds through a bone wall and tries to hit you, a good old golem can help you take that aggro away. Another really awesome use for bone wall is that it can block most projectiles. Bone prison can too, but Bone Wall you can cast right in front of yourself to block one, like, section of uh, projectile users. Now, something to note is that it doesn't block all projectiles, just most of them, and most importantly, arrows, which can have a really awesome use in PvP. Another thing to note about Bone Prison is that you can potentially trap yourself. So if you're fighting enemies in a tight area and the enemies are already close to you, consider like running and then using Bone Wall to be able to lock them off. This is great for corridors or even block doorways. Another big tip is that Bone Wall can be absurdly effective in the throne room. Similarly to how Eldritch has like a fixed spawn location, you know where the waves are going to spawn. So look as we wall off the scariest waves and just mow them down. I even get stunned and hit um, in the final wave, but because of Bone Wall, it has some sort of like taunt-like ability. The monster's aggro is dropped instantly and he turns around and forgets about me, which is just awesome. All right, and just wrapping everything up here, I just kind of wanted to say that both of these skills, Bone Wall and Bone Prison, are really great. And I just kind of prefer Bone Wall, and I see it get overshadowed a lot, so I wanted to make this cute little video about it. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.